So it's uh, it's been eight years. It's been eight years since I've even so much as updated my website. And a month ago, I built out a completely new one and it is awesome. Now to build out this website, I used a company called Pixpa and I'm gonna walk you through in this video why I think if you're looking at creating a new website, Pixpa should be someone you definitely take a hard look at. All right, so there's three things that a website needs to be able to do, no questions asked. Number one is that it needs to be able to show off my work in the best possible way. Number two is that it needs to be insanely easy to navigate for anyone that comes to my website. And number three, and this is a big one for me, is that I need to be able to very easily update it from the back end so that I can keep up to date with my recent work and just keep everything fresh and new. Now, a big part of the reason why I switched over from Squarespace to Pixpa was value for the money. Now, my renewal came up for my Squarespace site and I started looking at other options and Pixpa was one of the ones that I came across. Now, they've got something like 150 some templates for you to choose from and I went through and I found one called Glow. Now, I absolutely fell in love with this template. It was everything that I wanted for my website. So I signed up for their 15 day free trial. There's no credit card, anything like that. It offers you a chance to build out a website and see if it's something that you want to pursue. Now, I built the website in literally a day. It took me one day from start to finish to build the entire website that I have. And then when I looked at the pricing, I was blown away by what I could get for my dollar. So it became an instant no brainer that I was moving from Squarespace to Pixpa for my new website. All right, so here we are on the landing page of my website. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted my work to be able to be shown in the best possible way. But not only that, I wanted the navigation to be incredibly easy to use. So you're greeted by this large grid of images. And what I wanted with my website was I wanted people to be able to come to the website and be able to see a bunch of my images large enough that they can see the images, but small enough that they can get a good feel for what it is that I offer. But not only that, if they did wanna see some of the images a bit larger, or if they wanted to share just one specific image, they have those options. So you can come through here and you can scroll through and see whatever images you want as a singular image. You can also share these images with someone if you're like, hey, you know what? I love the way this looks. Let's try something like this, or this is what I like from this photographer and this is why I wanna hire him. Not only that, if you're on any type of touch screen or anything like that, you can literally just grab the image and just scroll them by. So again, like I said, navigation was a huge thing for me. So when it comes to the navigation, having my menus easily accessible is also a big part of it. So if I come over and I just click on my black and white gallery, I'm presented with all of my black and white images. Now, if I start scrolling down and I decide I wanna look at something else, well, now my galleries pop up right here. So if they decide, you know what, I actually wanna see some of his architectural work as well, that pops up. And then if they decide, you know, they're scrolling through and they're like, hey, you know what, I wanna contact this person, they can click on the contact. Like I said, navigation for me is huge and keeping everything as clean as possible while showcasing my work in the best possible way is everything that I want in a website. But there was a third thing and that was controlling everything on the back end. So I'm gonna show you how I use the Pixpa website to create all of these things and how easy it is to use. All right, here we are on the back end of my Pixpa website. And there's a couple of different things that I wanna show you here. Now, just to kind of get it out of the way, building galleries is insanely easy. So I just clicked on my black and white gallery. I can come up here, I can add media so I can add more images in. I can literally grab an image and change its positioning in the actual grid itself. So change the layout of the images. I've got different options for coming up and doing search engine optimization on my galleries so that Google can find me easier, making it easier for my clients to find me and hire me for the work that I wanna do. All good things, but what happens when you need to build out pages that aren't just simple galleries? Well, this is where the Pixpa website 
really comes to life. Now, I'm just gonna click on my workshops page here. And as you can see, it's built out you know, in a bunch of different sections. So I've got my main section here that shows the different options that I have for an upcoming workshop, then different info that attendees will need, as well as some contact info, and then just some love from attendees that have been to previous workshops. Now, if I wanted to add something else into here, all I need to do is come down and click onto this add section, and it automatically pops up with different things that I can add into that section, being a list, headline, you know, a gallery, maybe some contact information, different reviews, different things. It's literally plug and play. You just pick whichever one you want to put in there. You click add this section and it automatically puts it in and you just start populating it. Like I said, the whole website took me less than a day to build from start to finish, which was a huge selling point for me in using this Pixba website. Now, as I said before, I switched from Squarespace to Pixba. Now, I'm on the professional account with Pixa, which is around $12.50 Canadian per month. And with that, I get all of my galleries, I get a proofing section for my clients, I get a blog. By the way, I'm gonna be putting a blog back into my website. And awesome customer service. It literally builds out everything that I need. But if I was going to get the exact same thing from Squarespace, it would cost me around $45 Canadian per month. Now, that's just under $400 per year that I'm putting back into my pocket. And that that's huge. If you add up the amount of years that I'm going to have a website, which is going to be basically the foreseeable future, that kind of cost savings adds up to buying new gear, to going places, to going vacation, whatever it is, $400 a year over the course of X amount of years, it adds up to a lot of money. So that's where I was saying the value in this is insane. And not only that, you're not giving up anything for it. You're still getting great customer service. You're still getting great templates. And you're still getting a website that loads incredibly fast and works perfectly. I've literally not had a single hiccup. So if I haven't made it abundantly clear at this point, I am super pumped about my Pixba website. And if you're looking for a new website, give them a look. And like I said, you get 15 days free, no credit card. You can literally build out a website and see if you like it, which I honestly think that you will. So I will link them down in the description below. I will also link my website down in the description below for any of you who may not have seen it. I would love for you to check it out and let me know what you think. And if you do end up using a Pixba website, let me know, link it down below. I would love to check it out. This is why I make these videos. I love seeing what all of you do with the things that I use as well. I just think it's a really cool way to kind of interact with the community. So with that, as always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.